may I introduce Professor Darren Miles, Assistant Advisor to this group, and Robert Lane, Director of Development. We suggest that you take a seat over here if that's comfortable and nice. Thank you. That is correct. Yeah, we are a remarkably international yeah. university yeah. in a very small town. Yeah. Just yeah. three streets and 140 different nationalities. Yeah. Yeah. I believe you may also be aware that you are visiting us during um, a very special week in mm -hmm. St. Andrews where we, we've had the wonderful announcement this week that we have achieved a historic double first. Mm -hmm that we are top of the two major league tables. That's right, we, 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 we have displaced them from the status quo. We're all very proud, aren't we? Yeah. And we were just saying, I was just saying to your colleagues, that that sort of disruption of the status quo is a good thing. It, it makes everybody think, it raises aspirations, and it makes everybody think that we can all do that bit well, better. The garden has coined stop, stop spirit. Stop spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I, sh I should tell you, Your Majesty, that I actually have a sign saying stop spirit above mm -hmm. the door into my oh, really? office okay. now. Yes, yes. Have a look at it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but then that goes to your, to your leadership anyway. Congratulations also for that because uh, since you took over our breakthrough and what you've done to achieve this, I uh, reflect what. Uh, your capacity and your ability to steer this. Because now, from what I read, your students now are very positive when they go out. They are extremely. That, that is absolutely extremely. correct, Your Majesty. They're, they're very positive. They go out to a wide range of different types mm. of employment. Um, and they're confident. Yes. We, we like to think that the, the culture here Mm. produces students who are inquiring mm. and curious yes. and confident, but they're also global citizens. They know they have social responsibilities yes. as well. Yes. Um, it shouldn't all be just about the individual. No. We try to develop that, that culture of mutual yes. respect. Right. Well, that's, that's, uh, that's good. And, uh, I, I, my first secretary who was with my brother, who I succeeded also, was a St. Andrew student, the uh, Yawandog. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that right? Yes, oh, he was, yeah, right. and he was so proud to talk about St. Andrews in Kumasi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's excellent to hear. Well, we and appreciate people, those traditions. And when people talk to the university, he was proud to say, I went to St. Andrews, and it's one of the best universities in, in the UK. <laughs> Now the best university in the UK. Yeah, we've, um, we're very proud of these achievements, aren't we? Yes, yeah. yes indeed, and I think um, we have alumni in 150 different countries around the world, and it means a lot to all of them, and we've been inundated um, these last two days with messages of congratulations and support, and I think our uh, alumni are so proud of being part of the university. And for some, they've been kind enough to say it's not a surprise. It's been inevitable. Oh, that's, that's, that's good to hear. Because in my position, it doesn't always feel it. But, but when, when it happens, I'm delighted that, that, yeah. that, that, that people, people think. Well, I'm sitting in front of you is the, uh, one of my paramount chiefs, and is the chairman of the Council of State. That is the highest body that advises the president. I see. And he's the chairman. And 
with me also is the chairman of my university council, the Kwan wow. Kumari University of Science and Technology. And so he's here to talk about collaboration. <laughs> very mm. interested in pursuing these opportunities for collaboration of institutions and universities in Ghana. But it would be good to arrange something at higher. We managed to train a lot of our youth. Yes. And, uh, it's already made a mark, but uh, as the Ishmael was saying, we are only 70 years old. We are about 600 years old, but uh, we can exchange and then we will learn from your varied and wide experience. So we will look at the areas where this will be possible and uh, I think uh, take the process forward. Well, I think the, the learning experience would very much be a mutual one. Although we are 600 years old plus, we always take the view that we learn from the other institutions that we partner with. We have a, a range of, of very valuable uh, collaborations. And, and one of the things, as, as Gareth mentioned, one of the things that we are starting to develop is online digital programs. But we are very much taking the view that our university is associated with, with very high quality. That's one of the reasons we no, rank no, high no. in the in the league tables. So there is quite a challenge when you move from in-person courses to online and digital because you, you don't want a diminution in no, quality no. so that actually you're just it's just like watching television or watching somebody, you know, um, just talking into into the, the, a computer. So we are working very hard on our online programs to ensure that they have that individual feel to them, that they're individually curated, so that it's not teaching en masse, but rather making sure that everybody who participates yeah. feels that they understand what their development is. For that reason, we're rolling out our programs and piloting them quite slowly. Mm -hmm. But we have started in the area of data science, where we're just recruiting now, and I think that's going very well. Yes, yes, I think so. Yeah. 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 I think one of the unintended uh, benefits of the pandemic yes. has been that this company is online. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll take it out. Yes, I, I do agree with you. I think it has been one of the unintended benefits, but the important thing is that we don't stay in the, yeah, in the immediate world of the pandemic where we all just rush online. Yes, but clearly you understand the quality and excellence are our hallmarks. So I think whilst you're doing the online, that we visit also from lectures here coming down to the back. Yes. That yeah, yes. we're starting to think about those sorts of possibilities of coming additions to, to these kinds of programs. Yeah. So, because I think what we want to keep, as the principal said, is the quality and also what makes St Andrews special, which is some of those interactions. So, yeah, so I think we need to hold on to yeah. quality. That's marvelous. Well, we'll make sure that we exchange details yeah. and yeah. pursue those kind of connections. That would be excellent to, to undertake. Thank you. Let me say a big thank you to this young man, your student, come here, and, uh, and uh, Edward, because uh, he yeah. initiated a bit, and then he was able to move me up here. <laughs> he's, he's very persuasive. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, well, and uh, when my office received the letter, my chief of staff was here, he said, thank you. And then, then they came to tell me, I think it's your grandson there who is initiating this. I said, really? Okay. <laughs> then we're talking to you. Then the president comes and says, I've received an invitation from Zenda. I said, oh, my just you have to go. That, well, you know, that combination of people yeah. encouraging you yeah. has obviously yeah. produced this. So, uh, we very much value our association with, with, with Bradley, yeah. and we are really pleased to see his career going from strength well, to strength. Who knows where it will end? Yes. 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 And I come old. to see his grandfather here, yes. yes, who is present, but he's also yes. related to us. Indeed, indeed. It, it's wonderful that you've brought such a big delegation yeah. Yeah. with you, yeah. and that they can all appreciate the, the cultural delights yeah. of, of St. Andrews, which are so expensive.
Uh, he has so many titles I can't even mention. But, uh, I know, I know the feeling. Yeah. And he is in charge of the uh, to charity foundation. Yeah. Oh, indeed. Yeah, he is responsible for that. Right, and, uh, right. That that must be a very interesting. Yeah, he also looks after mm -hmm. so, you know, so, mm -hmm. uh, various charitable projects that he looks after in relation to education, social, education, and everything. So he's responsible for that. And that's a wide-ranging brief yeah, that you have. Yeah. Yeah. So the family here you're talking about, yeah. I'm working on that. So. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we look forward to hearing more about that. Yeah. Absolutely more about that. Too. It's a shame that you aren't here for, for longer. We would have welcomed showing you the um, the National Health Service in Fife, one of our nearest hospitals in a place called Percotti, has actually recently opened a national centre for the treatment of, uh, for orthopaedic treatment. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it's in, in, indeed, I heard Your Majesty mention that. And this is a national centre in Scotland. It was opened only recently by the previous First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon. And coincidentally, I visited it earlier this week to see it for myself. It's a real state-of-the-art centre. So perhaps when you come back on yes, another occasion, yes. we can, can I have the pleasure of Can I treatment. find some time for him to do that? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. 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 I can, we can put you in touch with the relevant yeah. people yeah. because... Yeah, we would, we would love you to see that. It's, they are very proud of the centre, and it's a national centre in Fife. Um, so to establish that link would be very valuable. We are just really building our relationship with the National Health Service with a view to establishing a sort of university hospital relationship. So to introduce you to that concept would be very great. Because we have one of the biggest tertiary hospitals in Kumasi. I the understand. The capital of the right. yes. about a thousand beds. That is really? going to go to a rehabilitation program yes. for the next uh, year or so. So that link will be very that, that would be, I think they yeah. would value that, that yeah. link as well. So, well, this is serendipitous, so yeah. we make sure we exchange Thank details you. with you. <coughs> we'll put you in touch. That is a He's about 87 now, is it? 88. And still going strong. Still going strong. This is a very important role that you got. You, you know all the all the backstories and the secrets and the things. I, I understand how important the chief of staff role is. It is really essential to essential to the smooth working of the Okay. I'm more like the, they treat me like a robot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand entirely what you're talking about. I understand entirely what you're talking about. They, they treat me, me like a robot. <laughs> <laughs> what we have to go through is really quite considerable. Welcome, sir. Lovely to be here. We thank you for your time. Not at all. Thank you for receiving us. Uh, I think uh, we brought you a gift as a yes. memento oh, for, uh, for you to uh, Thank you so much. The box itself has the crown. The king of the two things of the the movements of our country. Thank you so much. That that is really beautiful and what a wonderful memento of your visit. We're very honoured and particularly honoured to receive this. Mm -hmm. so thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a, a store woven by one of the king's special weavers. Oh which we oh, would uh, be putting around your. Please go ahead. Hands. Please go ahead. You, you can tell me how to how to work. Oh, it is. It is. It's beautiful. Yeah. Maybe with this, we are inviting you to the 25th anniversary of the celebration of the foundation of the king, which took place in April this year. Since, yeah, since his coronation 25 years, almost 25 years ago, his focus has been on education. Yes, 
very um, conscious. The three emphasis that he started with was education, education, education. Yes. Um, it will be a fitting uh, climax of the celebration if, you know, during your presence at the celebrations, you come and then the relationship between you and the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, of, of which he is the Chancellor, is consummated. You know, what a fitting... Well, uh, that's, that sounds like an invitation that's irresistible. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I would be very, very honoured uh -huh. by it. So, so thank you so much for yeah. that unexpected and really <laughs> a very kind invitation. Thank you so much, and I, I, I will wear this with, with great pride. Okay. Thank you, sir. We, we, have, we have something for you, if, oh. I, if, I, if, I, if I may. Thank you. Um, if I may just share this to you. Um, this is a, a, a collection um, of publications which relates to the 600th anniversary of our university, and we have a very small number which we give to extremely honoured guests. Um, so we hope that you, knowing your interest in history and education, we hope that you will find this of interest. I will cherish it. Yeah. Will charge it. By the time Thank I you. see you next in Ghana, you I'll will be have read them all. <laughs> <laughs> That's Thank you. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. So, Thank you again. We, we really enjoyed your presence here. We look forward to seeing you this afternoon. Indeed. Thank you, my dear boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs>